Hey, um, just want to talk about a few things first. Originally, this video was going to be a live review, but YouTube says I can't, couldn't upload it because it contains copyright claimed content, which is odd because I'm pretty sure Disciple doesn't usually do that with their stuff, but maybe they did for this time. Which makes sense, I'm not, yeah, but it said that the song wasn't released yet by its current providers, so I couldn't see why, like, which song it was, which obviously it was the song I'm going to be talking about today, but, um, it's odd because the song's on Spotify and it wasn't leaked. Disciple knows it's on Spotify. Whatever. Um, today I'll be talking about Virtual Wild's new single. Uh, Chroma, which was supposed to, which is, I assume, to release on his new album, upcoming soon, called Simulation, and, uh, this is a bit of a doozy. I feel like I really could have done this video better as a live review. I was really happy with the result of my reaction and what I said to, about the song on the live review video. Uh, but since it's blocked, no one can view it but me. Nobody. It's not even, like, private. No one can view it. Which sucks. It does. But, I gotta deal with it. So this song, um, this is one of Virtual Riot's most notable IDs. So, ID in development, if you did not know that. Um, and it's been teased for over a year now at this point and it's just uh it's better than I could have ever expected to be honest uh I loved the ID I listened to it to like 20 times in the last year and it's just phenomenal and incredibly catchy the intro melody and the melody that's present throughout the rest of the song that isn't really the drops is so memorable catchy yet it's not too complex. It just reminds me of like old school, like early 2010s EDM. And it's kind of nostalgic. But then we move on to the drops, which are a more modern, color basey approach with Virtual Riot style infused into it. And I'm really happy <laughs> with. Um, the first drop is pretty, I had already heard it before because it was in the ID clip, but the rest of the song no one else had ever heard before, so we had only heard about one third, one quarter of the song, and the rest of the song is pretty wild. Um, when it comes to the second drop, which is pretty soon after the first drop, uh, it greatly mix changes things up, and makes a really interesting and mind-blowing experience. Again, I wish I could have uploaded my reaction, but I can't, and I'm not going to re-listen to it without having you guys hear the actual song, because that's so dumb, right? How are you supposed to know what I'm reacting to, what part of the song I'm reacting to, and what my thoughts are on it? This is really, um, I'm not enjoy- I didn't like this, but I gotta push through this, and... Yeah, this song is really enjoyable. Around like the 2 minute 30 seconds, 3 minute mark, there's almost a future garage-y, color base part that really reminds me of something that should be on Rushdown. It's nuts that Disciple actually put this on their label. Sounds like a Halcyon Rushdown level thing. But this future garage-y... I wouldn't even call it Future Garage, it's just really chill, color base or whatever. Part is so good, and it's actually kind of beautiful, I think. It's really the highlight of the song for me, as I'm a big fan of Future Garage, I'm a big fan of color base. When color base meets Future garage elements, I think it's, like, I've heard it before, and I've always enjoyed it. I really enjoy this song. Yeah, the third drop, although, could maybe not have been in there. It still brings the melody, like, 
to up like the lead up to it and the outro it still has that melody and I love it the melody will never get old for me I love it so much um yeah but the third drop really feels weak compared to the first and the second drop it's just like kind of higher more high end to it or it's higher pitched or whatever you can say uh, whatever it is than the first drop it's not much different than the first drop um, I wouldn't have minded just the first drop. I think the third drop does its job well, although it, it really doesn't need to exist. I'm happy it does. Uh, if I seem bummed out, it's because I am. I really was happy with the result I got for the live review. But, what are you going to do? Um, this video is going to be fairly short because it's one song. Uh, the vocal samples scattered throughout... They're really good, and they make the song as notable as they are, because that's what, like, everyone called the uh, ID, the U Trippin' ID, because that was one of the vocal samples featured in the 1 minute 30 second clip. And, uh, yeah, just, this song works really well. For me, although I wish I could have shown you my initial reaction, which I, it, I was pretty happy with. It did make me look kind of like a goofball, but what are you going to do? Um, if you watch this, much thanks. Uh, please support Virtual Riot and, and Disciple. I will have the Spotify link to the song in the description. This is a really good song. I'm just really unhappy that I couldn't get the live review up. But oh well. You never know. Maybe they'll unblock it, which will never happen, let's be fair. It's going to be sitting in my, on my channel. I don't want to delete it, because it might, like, once the song fully releases, they might actually unblock it, which wouldn't make sense, but whatever. Um, yeah, this song is just, I don't know what to say about it. It's just really good. Uh, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. I appreciate you taking seven minutes out of your day to watch me ramble about a song that I really enjoy. Um, I think I'll be doing the Porter Robinson Worlds review tomorrow. I didn't do it yesterday because I was feeling like garbage. Like because of... Uh, I felt sick. Because I recently got my second COVID shot. And, yeah, it made me feel like garbage. And I was not up for making the world's review. Plus, I felt like I was going to puke. So, puking on camera would not be ideal, would it? Um, although, I did admit, yesterday was the 7th anniversary of the album's release. I will probably have the video up by tomorrow. If I don't, I won't be making it. If it's not tomorrow, it's never. And, um, I'm just really lacking motivation to make videos, really, at the moment. Um, I mean, like, I really just, Weezer Wednesday, I enjoyed making that, I enjoyed making that, but after the Green Album review, I thought, hey, is this, do I really want to continue reviewing the Colored Albums? I chose no. I'm not reviewing any more of the color albums. The only albums I'm going to review are the ones I enjoy. I've dragged this on about me too much. Goodbye. And uh, have a great rest of your day. Yeah, I don't know what else to say.